Hey guys, Chris from Kite Republic here. I'm here with Sky Solback from North Kiteboarding. Uh, Sky's the uh, the head kite tester and uh, shapes all of the directional products and obviously as well as that, uh, has a hell of a lot of uh, experience in the kiteboarding <laughs> industry. Bit, so uh, thank you very much for joining us, Sky. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. Good to be here. Yeah, the reason we're here at the moment is for the 2018 North Kiteboarding product range. And uh, while Sky was here, we thought we'd uh, steal him away for a few minutes and uh, just uh, get a little bit of that knowledge and the stuff that we don't get to hear that much of. So thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, I guess firstly, Sky, the, uh, the kite range has changed yeah. a little bit this year. Yeah. Um, yeah. To, uh, I guess, probably our, our personal favourite for our, mm -hmm. our, I guess, flat water, freestyle, building, <coughs> want to do a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, the dice has just, you know, it's been yeah. a huge success over the last last few years that yeah. it's been around. Uh, what, what can we uh, expect for the 2018 dice? Um, well, the dice, positioning-wise, is, you know, where it's always been in the lineup. It's kind of the cool guy's kite. It's the yeah. cool, cool kid's kite. It's the guy who wants to do... <laughs> You read that? You read that? Okay? I do. I do. Um, <laughs> it, it's kind of for the guy who wants to do a bit of wake style, maybe do a little bit of wave riding, mm -hmm. and um, and it's great for unhooking, great for doing kite loops. You can do massive boosts on it. It's not so much in the direction of wake style like the like the Vegas is, yeah. and it's not so much in the free ride direction that the Evo is. So it kind of mm -hmm. lies somewhere in between there, and it's kind of a kite that you can do almost anything on. Yeah. Um, change wise, design wise, compared to last year. Um, I had a long phone conversation with Ralph Grusel and uh, he kind of walked me through the changes that he made to it and um, yeah. the main thing is that he completely um, redid the segments on the leading edge so mm -hmm. what that does is um, and, and also um, increase the, the Dacron frame around the, around the wingtips and so yeah. what that does is basically stabilizes the whole frame of the kite a lot more mm -hmm. and um, so you can ride the kite a lot more loaded up it's a lot more solid compact feeling and um, it just enhances the, the especially the wave style performance and kite loops and it's just a solid rid, more rigid frame than what it was last year. Nice one, nice yeah. one. <clears throat> okay, fantastic. And uh, this is something that as as a, a shop owner and as a dealer with North, we get to <clears throat> obviously meet yourself, meet the owners, uh, meet meet the guys that are behind the scenes at North and yeah. get to hear it firsthand. But um, yeah. something that, you know, I, you know, I just find really interesting and exciting about the whole process is how do yeah. we get from 2017 products yeah. to 2018 products and when does the whole cycle for everything start? Like I know years ago yeah. we've spoken about you know what the Rebel was you know, potentially going to be and yeah. this and the rest. So how, yeah. 2017 to 2018, what's the process in designing yeah. a kite range? Well, it, it's always different. I mean, a lot of people will look at, you know, 2017 to 2018, okay, and that's your, your window of development from this year to that year. But mm -hmm. I think what people don't realize is it, it goes back a lot farther than that. I mean, mm -hmm. for, with the Rebel, for instance, putting out on four lines, we've been talking internally within North about doing this for probably four years now because we've yeah. seen that, you know, the, the market is definitely trending more towards four lines and eventually there, there might be a time when people don't want to use five line bars anymore. So... Depending on the product, you know, it, it's, it starts as a, you know, we, it's a response to market feedback. It's a feedback from people like yourself, from team riders. Mm -hmm. And so all this stuff is kind of going on internally behind the scenes. And, yeah. and you may not realize it, but ideas like this, they, they take time to develop. And um, we want to make sure that we develop things in a really good way where, you yeah. know, like with the Quick Bar, we were developing that product for almost five years before we brought it to market. Yeah. So, um yeah, we just want to make sure we kind of don't rush things into the market before they're ready. We want to make sure that things are thoroughly tested and all the materials we're using are the best possible quality they can be. And yeah. by the time we actually deliver these products to market, they're completely tested and ready to go. So Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it really helps that um, all of our designers and people that work in the office, we're, we're all really passionate about kiteboarding. Like, that's what we do on a, on a daily basis. So... Um, it's not like we're just kind of coming up with oh like what's the next marketing gimmick yeah, and we can yeah. oh we could sell people more of these if we do this it's it's yeah. more it's more uh, organic than that and it kind of comes from a place of like us wanting to actually have good gear to use and you know and, and kind of Absolutely. brainstorming ideas and and all these things just kind of every year like we were just talking before this um, mm -hmm. 
at the end of every year, we think, oh, what are we going to do next year? Like, we've kind of gotten to this point, and what, what could we possibly come up with? But yeah, yeah. throughout yeah, the year, you get, we you just... get the range out, and you go, oh, yeah. my God, I'm so proud of this. Like, yeah, we worked you know? so hard to get it all finished. And yeah. Done. And then, um, I don't know, you just kind of go back to the drawing board and start, you know, thinking about new ideas. And yeah. inevitably, new stuff arises, and, and you come up with new ideas. And, um, of course, there's not every idea is a good one, and a lot of them are throwaways, but yeah. the ones that we really feel are viable and really important, and make sense or the ones that, that come to market in the end towards awesome yeah. and uh, yeah I mean we're, we're, we count ourselves very lucky to be North kiteboarding dealers because you know yeah. there is so much work you can see that goes into it and so many yeah. passionate people yeah, but uh, I believe there's a change in the fabric this year yep. which, uh, which is yeah, obviously quite an exciting and a big yeah. thing to do yeah um, can you give us a quick rundown on yeah, yeah. so we're offering a, so I'll just talk a little bit about what we were doing in the past, like with our with our D two fabric that we introduced. Uh, it was a cooperation with Tajan. We we did this fabric together. I want to say for probably even more than five years ago now, but that's yeah. what we've been using up to this point. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of hype within other brands on the market. They're they're using. Um, we kind of started this whole thing with using different fabric. There's yeah. a lot of other brands that are now kind of snowballing under that um, yeah. similar ideas. Um, there's some other ones out there that other brands are using which we tested and and didn't go with for various reasons so we weren't quite happy with the performance um so we developed this new fabric together with tajan which is just a little bit different than our d2 fabric and it's called trinity tx so yep. our d2 fabric was two threads running one direction two threads running the other direction yep um with the new trinity tx we have two threads in one direction and three threads in the other direction and yep. that may seem like people are going, ah, they're just adding another thread, like it's just yeah. marketing gimmick, whatever. All right. Okay. It's it's slightly heavier than the D2. It's about 1% to 2% heavier, mm -hmm. so negligible, especially compared to some of the other ones that other brands are using. They're quite a bit heavier. Yeah. Um, but the way, the interesting thing about it is the way that we're orienting the fabric. So we're running the three thread direction is going from tip to tip on the kite, mm -hmm. which is the direction where you want to have that stiffness. Yes. to keep the arc and, and everything intact. Yep. And we're using the two thread direction to go from trailing edge to leading edge, which yep. is where you want to have some so give and, and some flexibility. And flex and yeah, it absorbs yeah. the gas really well. Um, when you when you steer the kite, it allows the kite to flex and turn. Mm -hmm. So that's where we want to have some flexibility. Yep. Um, the other cool thing about it is, like when you crash a kite, mm -hmm. um, often you're Pretty much all the time you're going to have the kite ripping from leading edge to trailing edge yeah. it doesn't rip the other way mm -hmm. so that's the direction where we have the three threads and yep. so it's that's going to be the most it's tear resistant strength. direction yeah. yeah okay um the other thing to mention is similar just just like our d2 fabric that we've had um each individual thread is coated mm -hmm. before it gets woven into the fabric and then yeah. once it's woven it's coated again so it's got this massive uv resistance and yeah it, so it, not it just that's, that's and to make a point of that that's <clears throat> not a standard practice by all brands exactly um, yeah like the, what, what yeah. Would, well, i guess what would the probably more standard or traditional style yeah would, how how would that well the, the threads wouldn't get coated before getting woven the yeah, fabric so would the be woven it would get it would get the um the coating on the outside of it for uv protection yeah which lasts for a while when you yeah. first get the kite it's crispy that and crispy nice feel, with yeah, that nice yeah. new feel but over time, flapping in the wind and getting the, the UV breakdown, it, it definitely wears out a yeah. lot quicker over time. So we have that extra layer of coating that, that keeps it crispy a, a that, lot longer. Uh, that north extra super yeah. long yeah. Uh, yeah. last in exactly. yeah. we'll Love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sky, thank you very much for thank your you. time and for joining yeah. us down here in Oz again. No worries. Yeah, great to be here. <laughs> and love this um, yeah, congratulations on a on a fantastic. I know you know there's a there's a huge team there as well, yeah. but it's oh, uh, yeah. some some amazing work, and we're super excited for uh, for the 2018 North Kiteboarding products. All right, thank you. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks, guys.